What's up, everybody? My name is Godzi, and welcome back to another episode of Wonderful Every Day. Last episode, we continued down the true root path of looking glass insects as Zakuro witnessed Shiroyama fucking die. And we finally met Usami and Ayumi, who are uh, definitely. <laughs> They're interesting characters. Turns out the th those two and Zakura were like magical girls or something in their previous life. I, I don't fucking know. But either way, <laughs> uh, I was told in the comments that uh, the version of the patch that I got uh, doesn't have it. What? Well, okay. <laughs> when they brought out the dog last episode. They didn't show anything, so I remarked saying, wow, the game finally showed some restraint. And my hopes were crushed in the comments as I was told that no, my version of the patch just doesn't have that scene. Which, I'm glad that it doesn't, don't get me wrong, I don't want to see that shit. But still, the fact that it existed at all, yikes. <laughs> like, I think it, it, it didn't feel unnatural how it, they brought out the dog and then they skipped. That, it felt fine. I don't know if it was just rewritten to make it seem right, seem normal, but otherwise, yeah. It was definitely perfectly fine without it. Like, the fact that it happened, like, off screen, whatever. That's, that's the story. They had a dog rape by Yumi, which is fucked up, don't get me wrong. But, bright side, I didn't have to see that shit. <laughs> so... Yeah. Let's just continue then. Spiral Matai. Turns out they're they're gonna jump off the roof at some point, so that's that's great. If we just finish the Spiral Matai, I'll be able to recover my extra dimensional powers. And then then I'll be able to save the world, and I'll be happy like this forever. I I have to save the world. But I wonder what my extra dimensional powers were like. Will I be able to shoot pink energy blasts from my hands? <laughs> like, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Could I really save the world with something like that? No way. It's gotta be something really amazing. There's no way it's something boring like shooting energy blasts. Once I recover my power, I can save everyone. Then they'll all be kind to me. My mother, and my classmates, and Mamiya, too. It must have been the specialized physics bug making him act like that when he was in the underground room. Once we save the world, Mamiya will go back to his smart, caring self. And then... <laughs> we might finally be united. Good one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now that I think back on it, I'm pretty sure Usami said something like this. The memories of that experience will never go away. But... Your body can be purified. What do you mean? Spiral Matai allows you to transcend your physical form. You'll be able to leave your incomplete human body behind and be reborn as a full-fledged angel warrior. You mean... That's right. The body that they defiled will go back to normal. The only thing that will remain will be the memories. We'll know no more pain after that moment when we're reborn. Reborn? Yes. Oh. You have someone you love, don't you, Zakuro? Huh? How do you know? Before, when you said everyone would go back to their kind selves, you hesitated for just a moment. I thought you were probably remembering someone you loved. That's... uh... <laughs> That's normal. Sammy! There's someone I love, too. It was our fate to be united, but... Fate? <laughs> In the past world, that is. We were engaged. Oh. Engaged? Yeah, we were going to be married in Ohimaro. But I had to fight the great disaster before we could be wed. And in the final battle, I gave my life to save the world. After that, he he chased after my spirit for millions of years. Billions of years. Trillions of years he, he reincarnated. Time and time again, searching for me. Trillions of years. That's longer than the universe has existed. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and we finally met again in this world, but the evil people tore us apart once again. The evil people? Yeah, 
Takanobu is being tricked. Okay, <laughs> that's an interesting name. It's that evil woman's fault. She's pure evil and she seduced him. Oh. So, once this battle is over, he'll remember everything. Yeah, make sure you invite me to your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> You've been waiting to get married for trillions of years. We have to win this time. Yeah. Yeah, once this battle is over, once everything is peaceful, then we'll get married too. We'll return to our true bodies and be able to face our loved ones again. Yeah, we will. My dirty body will be clean again. I'm sure it will. Let's do our best. Okay. After this all ends, I'll be able to... I'll be able to face Mamiya again. Hmm, except, uh, the only thing you'll be facing is concrete. July 12th. Chirp, chirp, chirp. The sound of birds. Yeah. Morning? Is it morning already? Oh, right. Last night I was up late. I spent all night warning people on the underground message board. But no one would listen to the truth. Oh, you're just gonna skip over that part? Okay. I can't blame them, though. Nah. So bright. It was morning already. It was the day when I would recover my power. The day I would be reborn. Hmm. I hadn't felt this good in a long time. For a long time, I didn't feel anything. I never knew the morning could feel so good. It feels good. I have to protect this happiness. I have to protect this world. Today, I will be reborn. School. A lot has happened here. I came to school since I had a lot of time before we were supposed to meet up. It's Sunday, so there aren't many people here. I walked into the school building. Even this place, where so many bad things happened, will be given new life after the great disaster passes. The world will be kind again. How exactly are you getting into the school on a weekend? Like, <laughs> I would imagine that you sh there should be, like, the gate would be locked or something. or And the doors to the building, but... Whatever. Looking at it like that, even the school building holds a place in my heart, oddly enough. The last time I looked out this window... No. <clears throat> if he had been born with a kinder heart, he wouldn't have been eaten by the specialized physics bug. Poor thing. He won't be born into the new world. This place holds my most treasured memories. All my memories of Mamiya linger here. <laughs> I guess Mommy is not here now, though. Of course not. Today is Sunday, after all. But... I guess I still hoped he would be. If we're fated to be together, it wouldn't be strange at all if we had met here today. <laughs> I shouldn't be thinking about boys just before battle. I'll soon be reborn, and then I'll fight for this world. I can't waste my time thinking about the boy I used to like. But... Once it's all over... Mamiya... I'll come find you, once this is all over. Then? The two of us in the new world? Yeah. That's right. Huh? A strange presence, uh-oh. I never felt this before. Was that the first sign of my powers returning? <clears throat> huh. Oh, hi. You're Otanashi Ayana. Why are you here? Why is Otanashi here? Could it be? The Vanguard possesses humans in order to approach us and interfere with our mission. Okay. Which means Otanashi came here to interfere with the Spiral Matai. That's the truth of it. That has to be it. What are you trying to do? I know all about your evil scheme. You're here to interfere with the Spiral Matai, aren't you? already chosen your fate. There's nothing I can do to change it. Of course not! I'll never let you evil people interfere. I won't interfere. Either way, people aren't capable of accurately distinguishing between the coincidental and the inevitable. All swans are white. That was the truth. Until they found one black swan anyway. The black swan, 
One fact can overturn a theory that was previously thought impregnable. Some men believe that the sun dies at the end of every day. They pray for its rebirth every night. They believe themselves to be the only reason the sun rises at dawn. No one can deny their claim. Not so long as they continue their prayers. So no one can deny the truth you found. You can't confuse me with your nonsense! Oh, really? But there is one thing I'd like to say. What? Do your best at the Spiral Matai. Shut up! I don't want to hear it from you! Hmm. I never should have come back to school. I never wanted to see this person ever again. Now she spoiled my good mood. Okay. So where's Yuki? Yuki's gonna appear as Takuji for sure. Ain't, ain't she? <laughs> <sighs> I still have time left. What should I do? Huh? That person. I recognized him. Oop. I thought I heard a voice, and I turned around. Ah. This must be fate. To think that we would meet here, just before the end. Yep. Mamiya. Seeing him felt incredibly nostalgic. We last saw each other a few days ago. But in the span of just a few days, we had grown so distant. No, we could still be separated until the end of time. Just like Usami was, that could still happen to us. Mamiya noticed me staring at him. A kind smile. That's definitely the real him. Yep. <laughs> Takashima Zakuro, was it? Yes, hello. Ah, <laughs> hello. Why are you here today? No, uh, there's no particular reason. I was buying something, and now I guess I'm just walking around. I mean, for someone living near the train station, Sugino Mia is the most convenient place to go shopping, right? I suppose you could go all the way out to Shinjuku if you wanted, though. I see. I'm glad. Glad? Yes, I'm glad I got to meet you. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> yes. This might be Divine Providence. Divine Providence? Um, we've never really talked much, so... Huh? Huh? Have we? Is this... The Specialized Physics Bug. That's probably it. It infects a person's brain and eats their thoughts, memories, and emotions. Damn it. That bug ate my precious memories with Mamiya. I won't forgive them. Bic Hazard. I won't forgive you. Um, is something the matter? Uh, no. You're right. You're probably right, but I knew you very well. Oh, really? Did I do something to tick you off? Why do you ask? Well, if someone I don't remember all that well says they remember me, it means they're holding some kind of grudge, right? Even after the bug ate his memories, he's still such a kind person. He really is a nice person. A grudge against you? <laughs> I'm not holding any grudge. I see. Well, that's good to hear. I don't have a bad impression of you. That's good to hear. Not a bad impression at all. <laughs> at all? Nah, I hope we can have cordial relations. Huh? Oh. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll definitely come back to you, my beloved. I'll definitely come back. Next time, I'll tell you how I feel. I'll become a new person. And then I'll come back to you, Mamiya. So... What? I'll give you some of my power. Power? What do you mean? Soon, something amazing will happen. Something amazing? You mean, like, tribadism? <laughs> Still the same joke as before. Great job. Tribadism? Uh, nothing. By the way, what is that something amazing you were talking about? Well, it's... The sky is really, really full. Full of what? Uh, I did not mean to right-click. <laughs> anxious words. <laughs> the sky is full of anxious words. I told him about the scene I saw. The endless black gloom, the world's twilight, 
the gloom covering the sky. Um, not full of anxiety, but full of anxious words? That's kind of a cool expression. <laughs> it's not a metaphor. So, what about it? The process of absorption has begun. Who's doing the absorbing? The world. <laughs> Wanjuku K! Hmm? It's VK! What is? It's Visual K! Yes, I know that, but... Ah, oh, well. I was just wondering if you liked it. Anxious words. In the world that has absorbed them. Do you know what those are? Ah, uh, not really. The heart of the person who will soon die. Therefore, the world will end. What? Um... Sorry. I'm sorry. You probably can't believe it, right? But I'll protect you. Oh. Sakura! <laughs> Who is this? What are you doing with an outsider? Sorry, but this person should be fine. I'm not all that impressed. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Please be more please be more careful, Sakura. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well then, I'd better be off. <clears throat> hey! Yes? I'll protect the world, so... Okay. I won't fail. I can do it. <laughs> Sakura! Coming! The moment approached. It was 6.30. Oh, wow. They're going through this a lot faster than I thought they would. <laughs> we quickly walked to the apartment building. The apartment building would be the best place for us to receive energy from Alhimaro. Soon it would be time for the spiral matai. It approached, second by second. <laughs> okay. Nope, imposing music. Now, it's finally time. Yeah. Uh, uh, hmm? What's wrong? Ayumi has never been talkative, but why is Usami so quiet all of a sudden? What's wrong, Usami? It's kind of... What's wrong? Is she trembling? Why? Today's the day we finally recover our power so that we can save the world. Huh? I couldn't hear what she said. Oh, she mumbled something? I mean, I'd imagine they're probably just scared of do of a near-death experience. Like, because who wouldn't be? What's wrong, Usami? I'm scared. Huh? I'm scared. Usami started crying out of fear. Why is she so terrified? Why is she crying? What are you saying? Hey, Usami! We might just die, you know? What? Die? Did she just say we might die? Why would we die? Why would that happen? What do you mean, Usami? She continued crying. She wouldn't answer me. Spiral... Ma... Tai... Spiral Ma Tai? Spiral Ma Tai. I heard it was a ritual to recover our extra dimensional powers. I heard that we would have a near-death experience. But just what kind of ritual is it? I still hadn't heard the details. Usami, what kind of ritual is the Spiral Matai? She just kept crying in fear. Don't just cry, tell me! In order to recover our powers, we have to come close to death. So we have to... Have to what? We have to jump from the roof of this building. Huh? What? What did she just say? What did you think a near-death experience would be on the roof of an apartment building? Did she just say we have to jump? Jump off the roof? From the top of this building? This building is at least 14 stories. If we jump from that height... <laughs> just like that. Our bodies would crash against the ground, just like him. Now, this building is three times as tall as the one he fell from, so it would be much worse. It would probably be a lot worse. If we do that, 
we'll definitely... No, if we do it, our powers will be awakened the instant before we reach, we reach the ground. Awakened? Yes, our power will never come back until we're faced with certain death. Faced with certain death. Okay. But, but I'm scared. I'm so scared. Scared. Scared of jumping from the top of this building. Jumping off the roof. <laughs> oh boy. Sakuro? Oh no. I was wondering if the scene was going to be at all similar to what we saw in It's My Own Inventions, where they were all calling each other Ririru. Because Sakuro had like a fucking mad, mad expression on her face. While the other two... Well, I don't remember what Ayumi looked like, but Usami definitely looked very, very worried. So, yeah. <laughs> I grabbed Usami and Ayumi's arms. Uh, uh. I dragged the two of them into the elevator. They were both crying now. No! I don't want to die! It'll be alright, Usami. What do we have to fear? There's no way we'll die like he did. We're angel warriors! It's our destiny to save the world! What do we have to be afraid of? We definitely won't die. We won't die, because we're the ones who are right. But... Alright, Usami. Right now, the world is sitting upon the cusp of destruction. If we don't stand up and fight, who will save the world in our stead? But... Just like before. If we don't fight back, the world will be annihilated. Usami, do you understand? The end is approaching. Look at it, Usami. Come on. Can't you see it? The great disaster is coming. Just like before. Like before. We said these words. We won't lose. As long as we stand united, we can accomplish even the impossible. Usami, have you forgotten? If we don't fight back now, the world will be destroyed. Oh. oh, yep, it's the exact same lines. Oh, that's why I don't remember Ayumi's expression, because she was facing away. I can't see it. I can't see any great disaster. Open your eyes. No, no. Usami. Nick. Usami, listen to me. Fear is a shapeless monster. Clouds the mind and beckons the worst possible outcome. If we falter here, the world will be destroyed. Could you let that happen? Usami? I could. What? I don't care if the world is destroyed. I don't want to die. How? I slapped Usami without even thinking. No. Oh. I'm sorry, but we don't have time. Ayumi. What time is it? Uh, uh... Ayumi silently backed away. What time is it? I grabbed her wrist and pulled her over to us again. She was trembling. So she's afraid too. They're both scared. Then I have to be strong. If I don't keep calm, the world will be destroyed. What time is it? 6.40... We don't have time! Quick! Come on! Find your courage. I don't need courage. Usami, you idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Show me your strong heart. Is it playing that fist song again? Why now? <laughs> your panache. The crest of courage upon your heart. Your panache. Now, librette. Today, we travel to the moon. Huh? What? I have no need for a machine's assistance. I'll simply dive off this building. What are you saying? What? That's right. That world upon the moon is... A world fashioned just for me. The souls of all those I admire wait for me upon the lunar surface. Socrates! Galileo! The soul which comp comprises the fundamentals of physical matter is... This is truly a problem. Quoth Copernicus! That's right. 
Why hath the whole been tempted by the devil? Why hath the whole been tempted, lured onto that galley? A philosopher, a scientist, a poet, a swordsman, a musician, and now a traveler flying across the sky. You will feel the sting of your own words. He has become all. He has become supreme and has become the sky. But I must go. I cannot keep him waiting. Look, the moonlight has come to welcome me. No! Eek! The two of them convulsed, trying to run away. But I grabbed them both by the wrist so they couldn't run. That's right. You can't run away now. And this is our only chance. Don't be afraid. I'm here with you. It'll be alright. Don't worry. We've made it through every crisis before, haven't we? So? So we definitely won't die! I dragged the two of them along as I stepped over the handrail. The sky was close. It felt like I could reach out and touch the heavens. You strip from me the laurel and the rose! Take all! Despite you, there is yet one thing I hold against you all. One thing that is left, that void of stain or smutch, I bear away despite you. Mon Panache! I took one step out into the air. The two of them tried to hold their ground. But I took one step out into the air. That's all. Let me dance for this new world. For this new power. For this new truth. I took that one step. I felt the two of them trembling. It'll be alright. I'm here with you. To the sky! No! Ah, shit. I entrusted everything to the sky. My body traveled from sky to earth in an instant. I grabbed their wrists, bringing them along with me into that abyss. I saw their faces. Laughing, but crying. Terrified, and yet happy. Those were the emotions upon their faces. Ah. It's like we're flying. It's like we're angels already. So fast. So windy. But there was no sound. The world rotated into silence. Soon we'll reach the ground. Pioneers in aerodynamics. Everything was the rotating sky. The earth knew me as it reached up to envelop us. Just a little ways until we reach the world. Just a little ways until we reach the earth. The growing shadow. I saw my shadow upon the ground. Well, fuck. Hmm? <laughs> Excuse? Did the chapter just end there? I mean, I guess it is from Zakuro's perspective, so if she dies, it's just over. Okay, hello, cat in orange. Uh... Oh, okay. This is very non-traditional credits. Oh, there's the credits, okay. Huh. That was... Interesting. At least we finally got a few answers for some stuff, like... Why the suicide happened, the shit with the Rimuru video and It's My Own Inventions, and also why Zakuro kissed Yuki and down the rabbit hole too. At least we finally know all that. Does it really open any new questions? I'm not so sure. But... I am a little confused, because I remember being told that the alternate ending would answer some questions that you would have after the true ending. And I don't know what questions those would be, other than like, what if it were happy though? So, yeah, that, it doesn't, I don't really know anything else other than that. It didn't really answer anything else about Takuji. I mean, kind of? But not really? I feel like 
the true ending made it very, very clear that that Takuji is Yuki, and the alternate ending made it very clear that the other Takuji is Tomosane. So, yeah. It also showed Shiroyama's death, so we know what happened with that. At least. I still feel like we... One of the remaining chapters has to be from Tomosane's perspective, right? It's gotta be. He is the most confusing character left. Other than Ayana. I feel like Tomosane and Ayana would have to be... Okay, I don't... I don't remember how many chapters are left, whether it's two or three, but I feel like Tomosane and Ayana at least have to have chapters following their perspectives. I don't know who else would need one. I mean, there's Kagami and Tsukasa, but I don't really think that would make much sense. Kimika, I feel like, would be redundant at this point. And then that just leaves Hasaki. And then, like, all the other minor characters, I guess. And uh, I don't currently see a reason why there would be a chapter following Hasaki, so, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that was interesting. That was a very interesting chapter. I'm glad that we got some answers, at least, but... I don't know. I still don't really understand. <laughs> D I definitely am hoping that one of the remaining chapters follows Tomosane. It, it's gotta. He is the character, the most interesting character left, who does not have a chapter following his perspective. Because we've had Yuki, we've had Takuji, and now we've had Sakura. So, yeah, Tomosane and Ayana, at least. And then... Potentially, Kagami or Tsukasa if there's something else to him. And Hasaki if there's something else to her. So, yeah. Maybe a final chapter, though, would be more of like a third-person omniscient view? I guess that's possible, because it's always been first-person, this game, so far. I don't even know if you guys can hear me all that well, because this music is loud. But, oh well. I liked this chapter a lot. I think it had some whack-ass things, but I liked it a lot. So yeah. It was a very good chapter. I liked it more than It's My Own Invention. For the sole reason that It's My Own Invention was such a roller coaster of quality. I still hold true to that, that it's my own inventions, like, it gets really good, and then it gets really bad, and then it gets really good again, really bad, so on and so forth until the end. Whereas, this chapter, Looking Glass Insects, felt less stupid, as far as that goes. No, okay, no post credit scene. I was half expecting there to be one, but I guess not. Okay, so... Yeah. Ah, that's the next one then. Jabberwocky. Okay, that's an interesting name. <laughs> so we've done Down the Rabbit Hole, we've done It's My Own Invention, we've done Looking Glass Insects, so next is Jabberwocky. Is there more to Kagami and Tsukasa, though? Like, I feel like there might be. Especially since, like, oh, they're here. They're, ri they're right here on this, on this page. They're literally the chapter select screen. <laughs> but we haven't really seen them have mo a central role since Down the Rabbit Hole. They appeared for a little bit and It's My Own Invention. I don't even think they were mentioned in Looking Glass Insects. So yeah. So there's two more chapters afterward. Alright. I'm hoping that this one's Tomosane. I am praying that it's Tomosane. But since we're only 30 minutes into the episode, I would say let's just start that chapter, but no, I'm going to save that for next episode. What I want to check out is I want to go back to Down the Rabbit Hole, and I want to skim uh, the interaction with Yuki and uh, Zakuro. 
Yeah, this is down the rabbit hole too, okay. Because I had the OP. Good. Okay, uh... Whatever. Show me the shit. Where's Zakuro? You're... Oh. Yeah, okay, here's the scene. So I'm just gonna skim this, see what's... Just to get a second perspective on this and see... Because, uh, honestly, this was a while ago. This was, like, episode 6 in this Let's Play. And this is, I think, episode 36. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The lines are definitely the same. Right. Yeah, all the lines are the same. The entire conversation is the exact same. <laughs> what providence? Hmm. <laughs> Did I do something on that? Okay. <laughs> so Yuki thinks that Zakuro's mad at her. And Zakuro thinks that the physics bug is messing with her, right? Yeah. Basically the same. Hmm. She wants to do something. <laughs> Okay, yep. That's why that joke's there. Forgot about that. Yeah, this definitely was a very cryptic scene when it first appeared. Because I was, I remember thinking that, like, oh yeah, Zakuro's acting like this because she knew us from the previous chapter, and it got me thinking that she's like a Rika or something like that. And she's just all... Yeah, I know everything that's going on. I remember the previous timeline. I didn't think that the future chapters would all just be like the same story from different perspectives. And then you piece it together from there. So I still don't know what the fuck was the point of Down the Rabbit Hole 1. I imagine it has a purpose that I'll probably figure out later on. So, yeah... Her clothes, I know that style. Oh. <laughs> that... That's where the joke came from. Okay. <laughs> okay, she was thinking she was cosplaying. Huh. I still don't know what Maki Shoujo or Jockey Gone is. I don't remember if I was ever told in the comments either. If I was, if I was, then I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great joke. <laughs> okay. And then there's Usami. Okay. And Ayumi. Got it. Okay. Uh, well, no. I, I could probably go a little bit further just to make sure, like, yeah. Her sex partner. Right. <laughs> she thought that this is what was fucking going on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, they really made this scene a fucking joke in this chapter. I didn't even remember that it was like this. <laughs> okay, yeah, and then there comes them. Got it. Understood. Bring me to the title screen now. I understand. We've seen that perspective. If Zakura were there for a little while longer, we would have seen Tsukasa show up, I guess. Hmm. Well, this is a pretty short episode, I realize, but I didn't think there was only half an hour left of Looking Glass Insects. So I suppose next episode we'll start that new chapter, uh, Jabberwocky, right? <laughs> I'm hoping it's from Tomasane's perspective, but I would also be perfectly fine if it were Ayana or Hasaki. If it's anyone else, I'm going to be a bit confused, but I'm sure there will be a reason for it. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, then be sure to press the like button, and if you didn't like it, then fuck you too. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos and stuff. 
And as always, my name is Godzi, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!